It was one of those late nights at the office, the kind where the clock ticks slower than a snail and you're counting the minutes until you can head home. That's when it happened. The birth of the first ever office chair, Grand Prix. It all started with a casual joke from one of us tired of the monotonous tapping of keyboards and the endless hum of the air conditioner. What if we race these chairs down the hallway? At first we laughed it off, but then someone else chimed in, let's do it. Before I knew it, we had set up a makeshift racetrack using old boxes and stacks of paper. The rules were simple. Race from one end of the hallway to the other and back without touching the floor with your feet. The winner would be crowned the Office Chair Grand Prix Champion. The first race was a disaster. Chairs crashed into walls, papers flew everywhere, and one of us almost toppled over a water cooler. But the laughter and excitement it sparked were infectious. We were no longer just colleagues working late. We had become fierce, albeit friendly, competitors. As the night progressed, the races became more organized. We even created a leaderboard using a whiteboard we had wheeled out from a meeting room. Strategies evolved. Some opted for speed, pushing off with great force while others focused on maneuverability, gracefully navigating the twists and turns of our office hallway. The highlight of the night was the final race. It was me against the reigning champ who had won the last three races. The tension was palpable. Our colleagues lined the track, cheering and offering last minute advice. Ready, set, go! We pushed off, chairs rolling at breakneck speed. I took an early lead, but my opponent was hot on my heels. We weaved through the obstacles, our chairs squeaking in protest. As we neared the finish line, it was neck and neck. In a final burst of speed, I leaned forward, propelling my chair ahead. By the narrowest of margins, I crossed the finish line first. The hallway erupted in cheers. I had done it. I was the office chair Grand Prix champion. Exhausted but exhilarated, we returned to our desks, our late night adventure coming to an end. As we packed up to leave, we shared a knowing smile. We had turned a dull night into a memorable one, filled with laughter and camaraderie. The next day, everything was back to normal, but the legend of the office chair Grand Prix lived on.